Spirit Squad, this is Pixie coming at you with improbable lighting and a party going on at the back. I don't know if you can hear that, hope not. Tonight I am bringing you a video about the new moon that we're gonna have in the sign of Capricorn, the first new moon of the year, as usual, always in the sign of Capricorn. But before I do that and before we get to the pick a card or you can go to the pick a card all the um, all the timestamps and all the good juicy links are in the description box i also try to put the timestamps in like pinned in the comment section please bear in mind that the timestamps do not work for the premieres but i also wanted to remind you that if you are not a member of the spirit squad and you would like to be make sure you click the subscribe button ring the bell so you get notified every time we upload because we often have uploads on this here channel mainly card readings like this one and energy work reiki and if you are a, a member of the spirit squad thank you so much for being here you guys rock you have no idea how much you rock my socks happy new year if i haven't said it already happy new year to each and every one of you and let's get down to business this first new moon of the year this is happening on the 2nd of january although it could vary depending on where you live so double check that capricorn is ruled by saturn and it also governs the 10th house of hard work and karma and rewards and reputation so my focus for this reading was what rewards are coming your way and what you can do and what energy you can embody or what energy you're going to embody as well as an affirmation you can work with and the answer to yes and a question well, we have three piles you can choose according to the charms on the piles you can look at the timestamps you can also use the emojis we also have a 30 seconds meditation as well as a sound selection for those of you who are um, more clairaudient but remember that Whatever choice you make is always the right one. If you want to listen to all the pals, that's also fine because there will be a message in every pile. Even if the whole thing doesn't resonate with you, at least some of it is going to resonate. Remember that if something doesn't vibe with you, just release it. Energy is always in movement and you have free will. That being said, I'm gonna try and keep those readings short uh, precise and concise and without further ado let's get into it Right, guys, if you chose the pile with this charm, this conch, um, this is your reading. Let's have a look at your cards. What rewards are coming your way? What can you do? You have 25 with the saw. You also have six of wands with the moon. 
and the energy you can embody or you're going to embody is number one with Osiris. Okay. I feel like you guys already know what to do. <laughs> yeah, I feel like with this moon that you're quite intuitive already. Usually, I would say usually intuitive. Some of you in this instance, you might not um, have a clear idea it's kind of like you're in the fog but i feel like you know you have to cut some ties which is interesting because that's a theme that's been coming up like in the readings for patreon cut the ties cut the cords uh, I believe I have at least one Reiki video about cutting cords so it's gonna be in the playlist in the Reiki playlist but yeah like you guys you know there are some toxic things since we're talking about Capricorn Capricorn is represented as the devil in the tarot and it's basically all the things that keep us chained and bound and it could be external circumstances but it could also be things that we do to ourselves being addicted to watching too much TV for example or it could be anything that you're thinking of that is not like conducive to your best health your best self all of that anything you're thinking of right now you're kind of like yeah I should cut that off that's probably the one <laughs> or it could be a person or even um, a place cutting ties to a place whatever comes to mind that you're thinking that you would be freer if you didn't have this thing in your life that's the one uh, yeah I feel like a lot of you are gonna feel very peaceful and relieved and even victorious successful that you kicked this thing to the curb but really this is magician energy as well and it's showing you, like once you have kicked this thing out into oblivion, you are going to see how much power you have, how much power you hold. Um, maybe not the, the full extent of it, but it's gonna give you like kind of a glimpse into what you can do. It's gonna make you feel also more confident but like, like I always tell you, you have free will. You are not uh, tied to anyone or anything that you don't want to give your energy to, ever. You decide of that. You are the magician and you are the wand. <laughs> For some of us, the wand chooses the wizard. But uh, this is you. And this is also like how much it's it's mind over matter that's really what it is mind over matter the magician in the tarot is ruled by mercury and the sigil for mercury literally means mind over matter there's nothing you cannot do so yeah i felt like that's gonna help you come out of your show just had to make a, a a conch pun over here for those who are um, self-conscious oh my god <laughs> anyway moving on to your affirmation <laughs> you have number two with i am limitless a creature of infinite possibilities i'm like get the fuck out you literally, you literally 
have the infinity symbol, which is the same in the magician card. They also have an infinity symbol over the head. Infinite possibilities. Infinite possibilities. The answer to you is in a question. You can pause the video. This card is also green. And the answer is unlikely. Yeah, but we just said um, you have infinite possibilities. So maybe it's unlikely right now because it's not going to be helpful for your personal growth. But we're not saying it's going to be like that forever. Whatever this thing was, reconsider it, reconsider the best approach and maybe try again later. So part number one, that's all I'm saying for you. I hope this resonates. Let me know, drop a comment, drop a like if it did. I'd like to take the time to thank your guides and my guides in spirit for this beautiful message. I shall see you again very soon, but in the meantime, you are protected, you are supported, and you are divinely guided. Part number two. She chose the part with um, this um, shell. It's not really a shell, it's made of wood. This is your reading. Let's have a look at your cards. I'm gonna keep the mantra and the answer to your yes or no question for the end. You guys have number 10 with the children. You also have the, uh, I was gonna say page, the Knight of Pentacles with the zebra. Interesting. And 11 with the segment. I feel like you guys need to be ruthless. You guys need to be ruthless. You guys need to assert yourselves. Not be afraid to stand out. First, do that in order for your perspective to change and feel more peaceful and kind of more, um, I want to say, easygoing or kind of more carefree. I feel like a situation has been ongoing for a while and it's been a matter of um, seeing things in black and white or like kind of having to choose a side. Maybe you guys were asked to pick a side between two things and you maybe were like pressure, pressured into it or you wanted to um, kind of please people but this is kind of weighing on you and it has been weighing on you for a while and you're like actually I don't care about either side because I stand somewhere else, I, I do my own thing, which is also what the zebra talks about to me, talks about yeah, just being your own weird self and not giving a shit about what people think. But I feel like in order to do that, you have to, or you had to kind of step into this fiery energy. Some of you might be a horse. In Chinese astrology or like a fire sign like Leo Sagittarius Aries but uh, it was kind of you have this gentle side to you you're a gentle person especially here with, with the children but I feel like some things have made you kind of um, you've been forced to be more assertive and it's not necessarily something that you enjoy doing but you kind of had two things in take things into your own hands and I'm, I'm feeling like this kind of Kalima energy like do no harm but take no shit 
and be like, yeah, just say and no to people. It doesn't have to be like anything like evil or anything. But for some of you, it's, it's just like being able to say no, being able to pick yourself and not regretting that. For some of you, there was um, maybe a feeling of guilt about picking yourself first over anybody else. But with that, now that you have done it, or now that you will do it, you will see that there's a lot more peace of mind that comes with it. And you'll be able to focus on the things that actually matter to you and not any kind of side drama, things like that. So the rewards that's coming to you mainly is peace of mind and kind of this childlike energy, lighter energy from what you used to deal with. So what is your, you have 61, your affirmation. I prioritize my, dude, <laughs> the first part was the same, um, not the same message, but like kind of um, s summarizing the whole reading, basically. I prioritize myself and do not hesitate to let go of attachments that weigh me down. I prioritize myself and do not hesitate to let go of attachments that weigh me down. We talked about that as well in pile number one. So maybe you come from pile number one or you want to check pile number one out. But well, and again, I said it in pile number one, but um, cutting cords for this new moon has been a recurring theme. So maybe you want to do a little ritual, little cutting cords ceremony. We have Reiki videos, at least one, uh, in the Reiki playlist if you want to check that out. I put a link in the description box for that playlist. Think of your yes or no question. You guys have the pink card. The answer is the time is right. Okay. The time is right to prioritize yourself. <laughs> the time is right to say no. The time is right to do whatever you were thinking of doing. It's your time now. That's all I want to tell you. Power number two. That's all I've seen for you. I hope this reading resonates. Let me know. Drop a comment. Drop a like. If it did, I'd like to take the time to thank your guides, my guides and spirit. I shall see you again very soon. But in the meantime, you are protected, you are supported and you are divinely guided. Bye. Last but not least, part three. If you chose the part with the little fish, Know that you have found Nemo or Dory. I think that's Dory actually. Um, you might also be a Pisces. <laughs> Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You don't have to be. You might just like fish because this one is super cute. So we have your mantra and the answer to a yes or no question. But first, let's have a look at your cards. You have number eight with the car. You have the three of wands with the cap. The car, the cap, the cat. What's going on? And the last one is Isis with number two. What is going on, pal three? I feel like you guys are also connected to your intuition. Because Isis is the high priestess basically you guys and yeah and the the cap every like any and every sort of headgear to me symbolizes mind power so you guys might be very um close to your intuition very in touch with that 
So you might already be in that energy of knowing. Yeah, I feel like this part you've done a lot of self-development, like you've gone through a lot of personal, you've done a lot of personal growth over the past year, maybe even the past two years. And this has given you this knowing and this certainty and also this confidence. I'm seeing the sea. The color blue is important as well. Blue and green. So a lot of throat chakra, heart chakra. Um, your first name might start with the C or the sound K. You might be a nerve sign or a water sign, like I was saying. But there is definitely this sense of you know what you want, you know where you go in, and you know um, what to do to find it. So it's like this, the rewards that you're getting, you either already know about them, or you have an idea. And if you're not there yet, there is this sense of being the driver of your own life main character energy like you either have recently come into that or you will after a bunch of trials like a baptism of fire is what i'm getting really especially with the three of wands a lot has gone on internally and the three of wands talks about the boats coming in and that's really like I don't feel like you have to do anything much because you have done the most already. You're just kind of, yeah, I want to say just sitting in your own power, sitting in your knowing and just kind of waiting to reap the benefits of uh, the seeds that you have planted and all the work that you've done which is very much like Capricorn energy. <laughs> That's why, yeah, Cap. Oh my God, you guys might be a Cap. Jesus. Oh my God. I did say earth sign or water sign, so maybe you have earth and water placement, um, placements predominantly in your chart. I have a feeling you guys might be coming from another pile as well. You don't have to, or if you would, Kind of thinking about checking another pile then maybe you can take this as your sign but let's have a look at your affirmation number 65 i am moving towards new experiences new relationships and renewed happiness yeah that's what i was saying like you've done all the work and now you're kind of re waiting for the rewards to come moving like all the messages have been spot on and you guys know I never choose I only pick the cards that jump um, so like even if I wanted to make it fit it wouldn't fit as perfectly as this this is lit I am moving towards new experiences new relationships yet yeah, new experiences with the three of wands renewed happiness yeah like I said, you arrived. You have arrived. You are here. This is a very powerful place to be in. You guys might even, you might be doing some, I want to say occult, um, like tarot reading. You might be reading your own cards or casting runes or things like that. You might already be doing divination. Don't have to, but that just came up. So, And here we have the answer to your yes and no question. So you can pause the video and think of a question. The answer is reconsider. But I feel like you guys know about this. With this uh, high priestess energy, you guys kind of knew about that already. You have to 
to approach it from a different angle. That doesn't mean it's impossible. Like I said, for another part, it's not impossible, but just uh, approach it in a different way. Get a new perspective on it. Get more information. Maybe you guys don't have enough information about it. But whatever it is, uh, sleep on it. Again. <laughs> so, part number three. That is all I'm seeing for you. I hope this reading resonates. Let me know. Drop a comment, drop a like if it did. I'd like to take the time to thank your guides, my guides, and spirit for this beautiful message. I shall see you again very soon. But in the meantime, you are protected, you are supported, and you are divinely guided. <laughs>